Hola pessoal, welcome to Kingdom Influencer. I pray that you guys are doing well. I just want to come on real quickly and just say that I know that I have been a little MIA from YouTube, but this is because God has placed me, God has um, thrown me, let me say he has thrown me, right? He has just placed me um, in a whole new environment and he has called me, he has called me to do something um, really different that I was not expecting and as a servant of God that tries to be obedient to God, this is what I have been doing. It hasn't been easy, but I know that with God, I am going to make it through so that his name can be glorified, so that they can be praised onto the word, the name of God, should I say, onto the name of God. But the reason that I am here is that I want to share a word with you guys. And the word that I want to share with you guys, it has to do with what I am living and with what God has done in my life. And this is a word for you guys, someone that you have felt God pulling you in a different direction from what you have been used to. What I want to say to you right now is do not fight where God is taking you, where God is taking you. He has taken you there for a reason. And you may even say, oh my gosh, this place is so worldly where God is placing me. It does not make sense for me as a Christian. But what I want to say to you is something that has been said to me over and over again is that light can only shine where there is darkness. Light cannot shine where there is light. And God has called us to be the salt and light of this world. And for your light, which is the Holy Spirit, what Holy Spirit has put in you, he has to take you to places that are not familiar. He needs to take you to places that many Christians, because of the religious spirit, have, disre have disregarded. Many places where people have labeled as, we cannot go there. I don't know if you guys remember, but last year, before the year ended, and I believe I touched a bit on it this year again, I said that God reminded us how he had said that 2022 was a year um, that lined up with Isaiah 22, 22 right and it spoke about that god was giving us keys and these keys were to open doors that no man could shut and they were to close doors that no man could open and what god had said that in 2022 he gave us these keys but at the same time things that we were going through in 2022 was to prepare us to enter through those doors was to prepare us for what god had already in plan for us so what i want to say is that Right now in 2023, you are about to go places. You are going to experience things. You are going to be in the middle of people, of groups that the church may condemn, that the church may say, this is not where you are supposed to be. But the thing is, you are not there to blend in. You are there to stick out. You are not there to do what the world is doing, but you are there to do what Christ has called you to do. You are there to be the light, the light of God in that place and the reason that i'm saying all of this that i mentioned the scriptures that i said that god has been preparing us it is to say that if someone tells you you are going to be swollen or you are going to be eaten up in their environment that is a lie of the enemy because god has prepared you for this place god has equipped you for this place so do not follow the voice of religious people do not follow religious voices do not follow the voice of the enemy that is trying to stop you from doing and being where god has called you to do and where god has called you to be we know that right now there is this revival movement going up but revival isn't only in church. Revival isn't only during conferences. God is bringing revival in different places. And he wants people that are ready. He wants people that have submitted, that have yielded to him to go where he has called you to do and to go where he has called you to go and do what he has called you to do. We know that there are different um, people in the Bible. Like Daniel, he was in politics. And at that time with King... Uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar it was how it was the pits but God placed him there and there where Daniel was he was able 
to allow the light of God to shine through him. When everyone else was eating consecrated food, Daniel said, I will not eat any of those food. This, what Daniel said is what we call the Daniel fast today, where he said, you know what? I'm not going to have meat. I'm not going to have this and this and that. I am going to stick to this, this and this. And you will see that I will be stronger. You will see that my appearance will be better. You will see that I will be different. He was placed in a place, right? That we could just say it was a heathen place. It was a place that just belongs to the world. But through the tests, I'm saying this again, through the tests to say that we will be tested in those places. But through the tests that Daniel went through, what happened? The name of God was glorified. Daniel was thrown into, into the furnace of fire. I think that's what you call it in English right? The fire thing there. He was placed in there and he came out not hurt. He came out good and he was placed in that place, right? Because he did not want to bow down. So he knew that he was in a place that did not belong to the kingdom of God. He knew that he was in a place that the environment, right? Was not influenced by the spirit of God. But because he stuck to the rules of God, because he stuck to the loyalty, to the covenant that he had with God, it caused him to be in the furnace of fire. And when he came out untouched, unburnt, not even smelling like smoke, when he came out of there, King Nebuchadnezzar said, you know what? All of you guys have to respect his God. All of you guys today are going to respect the God of Daniel. So you are going to be placed in situations, in places, in workplace, in neighborhoods that the religious spirit, the religious voice is going to try and convince you that you are not supposed to be there. But one thing that I want to say to you is if you feel the peace of God, carry on. If you know that God has assured you that he is with you, carry on. Everyone may be look, going left and you are going right by yourself. But do not forget what the word of God says. God says that he has given us two options, right? The scripture says that God has given us two options. That we have the wide gate and we have the narrow path, right? The wide gate is where you will see a lot of people. The wide gate is where you are going to see that it's packed. But that narrow pathway you are going to see one or two people. And what God is doing right now, what God is calling you to do right now, where God is taking you right now, it is narrow. It is a place where you will not see many people. It is a place where a lot of the people will even speak against it. But that's where God is. That's where God wants you to shine through his glory. That's where God wants you to shine through what he has given you. This is where God wants you to speak of him. This is where God wants you to testify of him. This is where God wants the fruits of the spirit and the gifts that he has given you to flow in that place. And I just want to say one more thing. God has not called. God, God says that the church is not for the people that are well, but for the people that are sick. Our world right now, it is a mess. And he has called you so that you can be used to empty out hell and fill up heaven. And that does not mean you doing, you being what the world is calling you to be and what the world expects you to be. No, 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 no. I am not saying go to concert so and so. I am not saying play so and so's music. I am not saying dress a certain way. That is not what I'm calling you to, to do. What God is saying that he wants you to do is if he places you in a place where no, no one is saved, if he places you in a place where they are doing crazy stuff, he does not want you to blend in, but he wants you to stick out. And he wants you to stick out by following his word, by being an ambassador of Christ, by having the mind of Christ and following his precepts, following his laws, following his word and not being wavered. He doesn't want you to be lukewarm. 
God wants you to be on God's team. God wants you to remember his covenant. God wants you to remember what he has called you to be and why he has placed you in this world. So that in itself is all that matters. If God tells you go to the forest and preach, that's where you go. If God tells you go to the club because at the club, that's where he wants you to save someone, that's where you go. If God tells you go and work at place so-and-so, that's where you go. As long as you have peace and you have surrendered your heart fully to God and you have gotten to that place where you know that everything that you are doing, you are doing with a pure heart and you are sincere, God is commanding your footsteps. God is leading you. So right now, whoever this word is for, whoever this word is for, what I want to say to you right now is follow what God is telling you to do. It may look crazy. It may not make sense right now, but God is with you. You may not have anyone in your corner. You may not have anyone supporting you. And all you have is the word of God. Baby girl, baby boy, that is enough. That is all you need. That is all you need. And I am able to say this to you today because I am a living testimony of it. I am able to share these words with you guys and give you these biblical examples because I have gone through it and let me say I am going through it do I get shaky sometimes yeah do I doubt sometimes yeah but when I run to the arms of the father I know exactly what it is that he's saying and I know that he's got my back 100 percent so this is the word that I want to share with you guys and I want to say as well, you know, <laughs> keep an eye out for Kingdom Influencer. Even though I may not be on here as much, the projects, the plans that God has for Kingdom Influencer will still carry on. And I believe that if it ever gets to a point where I can't do it, you know, God will raise up someone to do it because the work is his. It is not mine. The glory is for him. It is not for me. And hey, I am just here yeah, living, living under the instructions and the leading of God and the Holy Spirit. So that's the word that I want to share with you guys. Beju. I will speak to you guys and see you guys soon. Bye bye.